Over the course of the next few minutes, we'll be taking a close-up look at the CT1500 camper trolley. This portable unit takes the backache out of effortlessly moving caravans, boats, horse floats and anything else mounted on a trailer. It can handle various surfaces and inclines up to 10 degrees. And as you'll see later, moving your caravan or trailer into tight corners becomes a breeze. The camper trolley comes with a convenient canvas carry bag, a wireless remote for full directional navigation and a mains charger for the onboard 14 volt lithium battery. So let's let the cat out of the bag so to speak, switch on and speed up the action just a bit to take a quick run around. Communication between remote and the unit is wireless with each remote uniquely paired with its camper trolley. The unloaded speed is approximately 9 meters a minute and the speed under load a safe and consistent 7 meters per minute. The CT1500 will handle loads up to 1500 kilograms. A larger model, the CT2500, has the capacity to move loads of up to 2500 kilograms. A final pirouette and we're ready to load it up. The camper trolley is supplied with a cushion bracket for the drawbar that can be left permanently attached. There's no welding and there's no drilling. The bracket is secured with a simple clamping mechanism meaning it can quickly and easily be moved from one trailer to another if required. The manufacturer recommends mounting the bracket as far back on the drawbar as possible to ensure maximum weight on the camper trolley. Once the bracket is held in place with the shoe section and U-bolt, the U-bolt is again held in place with two spring pins. and the shoe is then tightened onto the drawbar with the top handle. The bracket is pre-drilled to accommodate both 150mm and 100mm chassis. A slot at the base of the bracket accommodates the tongue of the suspension fixture on the camper trolley, like so, and then held in place with a spring pin. This short demonstration involves an off-road camper trailer of over a thousand kilograms and takes place on an exposed aggregate concrete driveway with an incline of up to 10 degrees and limited manoeuvrability. The CT1500 is driven by two planetary gear motors, whereas the CT2500 has four motors. The control via the remote is very positive and safe. Driving the unit forwards requires just the forward button be pressed, and turning to the right requires both forward and right buttons depressed simultaneously. If a right or left button is held depressed for more than a second or so, one track will switch to reverse with the other continuing in the forward direction. This facilitates executing those really tight manoeuvres. Releasing all controls results in an immediate stop. There's very little to worry about when using the camper trolley. The wireless control means that you can keep an eye out for possible hazards anywhere around your caravan or trailer. When driving down an incline, always have the camper trolley leading your caravan or boat, etc. as shown here. If moving up an incline, then you must push the caravan or boat forwards up the slope.
The following is an example of what could possibly happen if you try to reverse up an incline. Note here that the front of the camper trolley is pointing down the slope. Trying to reverse up the slope results in the camper trolley bucking a little, losing full traction because the weight is towards what is the front of the unit. Fortunately, this is quite easy to resolve. Simply use the remote to pirouette the camper trolley until it is facing forwards up the slope and then proceed with normal forward motion. Where the camper trolley excels is in executing tight manoeuvres. For example, parking your caravan or boat, etc. into a garage or a limited space. The positive control using the remote allows you to make minor adjustments to direction at will. Always driving the unit in the forward direction where possible also makes navigating with the controls straightforward. The safe and consistent speed minimizes any mishaps. Hands off the controls and the unit stops immediately. All tucked away safely, ready for the next camping trip. With the camper trolley sitting on a bench, we can take a closer look at some of its features. On the front panel of the unit, you can see the on-off switch to the right, and the power indicator to the left. Turn the unit on with a quick but positive press and release. The power indicator will glow green indicating power. Turn the unit off with another press and release. The camper trolley is attached to the bracket on your trailer's drawbar via the suspension fixture shown on top of the unit. This has a generous allowance of side-to-side -side movement and can rotate freely through 360 degrees. The tong at one end of the fitting engages with the drawbar bracket on the caravan or trailer and is secured with a spring-loaded pin. If we now turn to a side-on view we can take a look at the treads driven by the planetary gear motors. The treads are made of a tough industrial grade rubber to handle a diversity of surfaces. A pair of guides on each side ensure the tracks run true when under load conditions, especially when performing sharp turns. 
Each camper trolley is uniquely paired with its own wireless remote, eliminating any interference with other nearby units. There are four simple controls. Forward, reverse, right and left. The forward and reverse can be used independently or simultaneously with the right or left. The remote is turned on with a momentary press of the forward button. An LED bar graph indicator will illuminate showing the state of charge of the lithium battery in the camper trolley. It is very important to fully charge the battery before first use and after each subsequent use. This will maintain your battery in optimum condition. Looking at the rear panel of the unit is the charging socket, which you can see here protected with a dust cap. Insert the corresponding plug of the provided mains charger to fully charge the battery. An indicator on the charger will glow red while charging, changing to green when the battery is fully charged. After charging, replace the protective dust cap. Back to a side on view, we'll take a quick peek under the covers. Now I don't recommend you do this yourself but for the sake of demonstration, we'll take a look. Once the two protective side covers are removed, you can see the outer workings of the drivetrain. A planetary gear motor drives one of the tooth wheels on each side of the unit. The other toothed wheel is an idler. Together they transfer power from the motor to the tracks. The tracks are grooved on the underside, mating with the grooves in the wheels. Finally, Three floating rollers at the bottom of the unit provide extra support and stability. Finally, in the box is the camper trolley with its suspension fixture, the wireless remote, a mains charger, The draw bar clamp and let's not forget the bag. There is also an optional car charger available and if you have an off-road caravan where the draw bar is very high off the ground you can also purchase the high lift bracket.